Right, here's a little problem that we need to look at carefully. This uh, entity up here, that is something that grows. So Control G will show us the growing bond and we can click on that if I hit the bus button, right? So there we go. Um, I can get out of the mode, type unique. So we only focus on what we need to work on. So this is the problem we've got. We need to somehow join this up so it becomes a sensible molecule and not this sort of uh, mess that it is at the moment. And in order to do this, we need to make a choice and we need to effectively build the unit we've got from what we see on the screen. And that means I'm going to delete that atom and I'm going to delete that atom and I'm going to delete that atom. So these are symmetry equivalents I've been deleting, but that doesn't matter because what we're going to do, adding a bond to this, so we're going to use this unit as the starting unit to make the molecule that we're actually interested in. So there's only two parts minus one at the moment. What we really need is all of this needs to be in part minus one. So we've got part minus one and now the magic minus C. And that tells Olex2 that we want to model the whole thing as a unit. And you can just about see that some atoms are on top of each other. We need to get rid of those. We type fuse and that gets rid of those extra atoms. What it also does, it mixes up the minus one. So these ones, it deleted the non minus ones atoms, which it shouldn't have done. So I need to double click on this and go part minus one and also 10.5 just to make sure that we're actually half occupied. So now we should be set up for a nice refinement. But before I go into this, because we're now effectively refining two entities right on top of each other, I'm going to put a few restraints in for the moment. So these two bonds have to be the same. So I can type SADI, same distance, SADI. And then we can also put in this restraint here, that and that, and that and that it needs to be SADI. And maybe we want to also, um, I think this will probably do. Let's just leave it at that. Let's refine gently, refine one, just one cycle and see what we get. First of all, the whole molecule comes back. That's the property of Olex2 at the moment. I hope we can fix this at some point because I find this quite annoying. So unique, we're going back to what we're actually interested in. And that behaves reasonably well. We've got an R factor of 2.95%. That's pretty good. Control R, refine a few more times. What we might need here is a Regu on this. I'm tempted to always make it reasonably strong to start with, just to see whether everything goes roughly in the right direction. And this looks really, really very good. So the molecule is starting to breathe, it's doing the right thing. And let's do a few more cycles, 10 cycles of refinement. And then we should be able to just type H add, and that should also add the hydrogens to this, but it doesn't, and that's kind of strange. So what I need to do is have a look why it doesn't do it. So probably it tells us, does it tell us something? Um, well, let's just ignore this for the moment. So basically I need to go and go bonds and angles and explore. Yes, and what we find is there is a bond that goes to this thing. So there's a bogus bond in here that somehow appeared from somewhere. And the only way we can deal with this right now is we need to delete this bond, del bond. And that should delete both of those. And if I go fuse now and H add, then the two hydrogens are now added correctly. Control R, and again, we get the whole molecule. So we type unique, go back to it. And those two hydrogens are actually in place and happily refined. One of the problems that I found before is if I keep going refining, at some point, these hydrogens might disappear again. And I think this is a bug in Olex2 at the moment. And I just keep doing this for a while and we see whether it will actually happen or not in this particular demo. And I think right now they live happily ever after. So I don't quite know what happened in the model I had before. Um, but there we go, Control R again. And that looks like a stable model now. So. We've done it. So right click on this, uh, bonds and angles, we can explore and you can see a really short bond. You only see a short bond here. Let's just do it there. Yeah. So this is how they lie on top of each other. You could now do things like select one of those, head over to draw and then the draw plus tool. And there we can uh, select this and make this like a ghost image. And if we now go right click, uh, fragments, show all. We have a nice picture of how this main molecule is and then how we've got this sort of disordered on top of each other uh, entity here. Well, um, 
I hope this was useful and thanks for using Olex too.